Hi there, thanks for watching. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can set the Mystic Bulletin Board system up to connect to a message network. And to start with I thought I'd just introduce a few concepts to you and give you a bit of a walkthrough as to how we will set things up. So for the exercise we're going to connect to a network called FSXNet, which is the fun, simple, experimental network. And FSXNet uses Zone 21. Now if you're not familiar with uh, FidoNet style addressing, it uh, works this way. You have a zone with a uh, colon followed by a net address, forward slash, and then the node. And sometimes there is a point address as well. So the example I've given you here is 21 colon 1 forward slash 153. And in this case there's a point address as well. Normally a lot of the addresses wouldn't use points. You might just simply have an address that would be net 21, uh, sorry, zone 21, net 1, and node number 167, let's say. Now, in order for our system to connect to this network, it needs to talk to a hub which feeds the messages to and from us. And the FSX net hub has its own address, 211100 and it has a host address ip4.agency.bbs.geek.nz colon 24556 and that is the port number that we'll be using to connect to the hub and there is a session password which is simply the words let me in all in capital letters that's an I not a number one for the exercise today we're going to be using a node address which is a default address that you can run with until you get your own one assigned uh, which will be 211999 and we have a password that we can use as well for something called ticks which I'll explain later and again the passwords just let me in. Some useful links for you if you want the software you haven't got it already head to mysticbbs.com and if you want some more information about FSXNet then head to bbs.geek.nz forward slash fsxnet.zip and that will download the latest info pack with all the information you need in it. So let's get started. For this exercise I'm going to fire up the Mystic um, configuration system and we're in the configuration tab and when I press enter on that a number of options. I think uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the general settings and I'm going to give my bulletin board a name because so far we haven't done that. So let's just call this um, Thor BBS. I've watched a lot of Marvel stuff lately. And my SISOP name would be Thor. Why not? Um, feedback to Thor if anyone wants to uh, post a message to me. Press escape to get out of there. And then I'm going to head down to Echo Mail Addresses. Now in this section you set the um, addresses that your bulletin board has. Now at the moment um, you leave this first one empty, uh, or alone at least, because that's a, a local one. But the rest of these are free for you to uh, fill up as you need to. So we'll go to this first entry and press enter. And you can see it's asking us for um, the address details for the network that we're going to join. So you remember for our bulletin board at the moment we're going to be in zone 21, net number 1, node number 999, no point number. The domain name is, I usually just do lowercase, although I don't think it's essential, I just tend to go lowercase, fsxnet. The description, I'll just make it the same, this is just for our reference. And if this is the very first network you're setting up on your system, then you would make this the primary network. Um, anything else that you set up, just make it a secondary network. So the, uh, the answer to this last question down here remains no. But um, it really doesn't matter what is your primary address, so long as you've got one set as a primary address. Now, um, if you join this network, you'll get issued with a different number, and the chances are that you'll want to change that node number to the number that they allocate you. So that's all we have to do in this section. So that's an echo mail addresses. The next thing we're going to do is go into Echo Mail Nodes, and this is where we set up a connection to the hub so that we can actually get messages to and from this bulletin board to the rest of the network. Now, there's no entries in here at the moment, and the way to create it is you use the forward slash key where it says forward slash for command list, 
and we have the option of inserting, copying, deleting and export. So we're going to insert and create a new Echo Mail node. If we press enter on that we've got a few screens that we can fill out and I'm just going to walk you through each of these steps. So for starters, for a description, let's call this the FSX Net Hub. We're going to make this an active system that we connect to, so we'll make that yes. Over here we need to get the hub's address in place, so it's zone 21, the net is 1, and the node number is 100. There's no point address, and the domain is FSX Net, all in lower case. On the other side of the screen here, this is just telling us how to, asking us how do we want to um, compress the information and send it to the hub. So you need to have a copy of pkzip sitting in your mystic directory or infozip, but normally you just leave that set to zip. Export type, there's a few options, but I recommend you set it to crash, because what that means is the moment um, it can deliver it, the message your system creates, then it will send it off to the hub. This all fixed password you can leave empty, packet password you must leave empty, session type set to bink p, that's correct. Routing information, now this is um, a command that says if you're sending private messages to another system, then um, what do you use this echo node for um, in terms of sending those messages? So in this case I'm saying anything that is in zone 21, and I go 21 uh, semicolon star, that means root any uh, net mail, which is private mail, that's addressed to anything in zone 21 through this echo node. The maximum packet size and arc size leave is set, file box you don't need to worry about, and for the tick password I'm just going to put in capitals let me in. Now this password is for files that the hub sends you and when the hub sends you a file, it will also send an accompanying tick file, which is like a little text file with a .tic extension. In there will be a password that you need for your bulletin board to be able to suck the file into the bulletin board system. Again, when you get a, a proper address, this tick password will change and you'll want to update that. Now the other thing you want to do here is, you see in the bottom right hand corner we've got session options. We want to press S for session options, and this is where we're setting up the, the system that actually connects to the hub. Now the host address, you might recall from that other screen before, in fact let's just have a good look at that again. Um, host address, where was it? There. So it's ipv4.agency.bbs.geek.nz and then it's colon 24556, so that's the port address that we're connecting on. So let's type that in here, IP, I'll do it lowercase, ipv4.agency.bbs.geek.nz colon 24556. Cool. And the password in uppercase, let me in. Now these next settings here, timeout and block size, just leave them as set. These two you should turn on to yes. This just simply means when you send that password, encrypt it so that it's not so obvious, otherwise it's sent as plain text. And hide AKAs means that when you connect with the system, the hub address, just present your zone 21 address. If you've got other addresses on your bulletin board, it's not going to sort of show those business cards. There's no need to. So just set those both to yes. Press escape a couple of times and you can see we've got an echo mailed node, which is the echo, the node that we're going to be sending and receiving stuff to, um, all set up and good to go. Now if we um, want to carry on from this point, the next step is going to be creating a message base that we can then link up to the hub and post messages to and from. So let's just do that as well. We'll go over into editors and there's a couple of concepts here. You can have message groups, so you'll see that Mystic ships with at least one default group. So I'm going to press enter on this and just make this FSX net. And I just press escape a couple of times. So this is kind of a cosmetic naming convention here. And then I'm going to go into the message base editor and this is where we're going to set up the message base that we post into 
uh, messages that get sent across to this network. Now you'll see on here we've already got three which ship with Mystic and they're all local bases on the right hand side so they're not going to go anywhere other than what's on this bulletin board. What we want to do is press the forward slash key to open up our command list and press insert which is going to allow us to create a new message base and that's um, the next step that we're getting into now so let's go through and walk you through how this works. So I press enter and I get a whole bunch of options don't be overwhelmed by this because it's actually pretty simple once you've done it a couple of times the message base is just called general chat don't worry about news group or QWK name in the echo tag you want to go FSX and then the underscore key GEN and this is a tag that all the messages that you write get sent with so that the hub knows which message base it needs to send to all the other connected nodes. The file name you can see in the path here it's going to create a data file and it's just by default called new. I normally just call it the same name as my um, echo tag just so that if I'm looking for the files on the hard drive I can see them easily. Now the list read and post and sysop security settings you should check out um, another video that I've yet to create but it talks about how these uh, settings work and for starters just roll with this you want to go security setting 10 and put this into group 1 G1 the read settings as well so that's the list settings we were just doing S10 G1 if you wanted to post you'd have to have a security of 20 but be in group 1 and a SISOP already has to have the high level access 255 but be in group 1 as well. This base type is important. You want to change this to echo mail and that means that it's going to be potentially sending this uh, messages posted to this base out to other systems. The address that is associated with this base is the one that we set up earlier which was our own bulletin board address 21999 if you do change it back on that other settings it will update this bit here too so you don't need to come back and do that. Export to, this is where if you press enter we and forward slash and we want to insert and press enter on the FSX hub and then I think we press escape and this is really important because that, bit, that step links messages posted to this message base to that echo node. The origin line is um, just a cosmetic line that shows where the um, message arrived from. So I'd want to change that to Thor BBS. None of these settings here you need to worry about. These are cosmetic ones. Maximum messages, you might want to change that because Mystic can maintain quite a lot of uh, messages in, a data, in, a, in its message bases. And if you've got a decent hard drive, you, know, you might want to make that say 5,000 maybe keep them for at least a year but you can change that if you want to turn these things off just make that zero but otherwise just change the settings as you like um, leave it as part of a new message scan and the only other thing you might want to do is a couple of settings here so some message bases like FidoNet they require real names so if that's the case you'd want to make that yes but otherwise just leave it off and that way when you're posting you'll be posting as red 72 which you'll recall was the username that um, I set myself up with. And the other thing you want to do is allow ANSI, which means that if people are posting messages with um, graphics in this message base, you're going to be able to see them, because Mystic does a great job at, at presenting messages in, uh, with ANSI graphics. Now you can see I've got one message base set up called General Chat, and it is linked to the Echo node, and uh, we're pretty much good to go in, in terms of actually posting a message which I'm just going to show you quickly how that looks as a user. So over here we've got our login and I log in as red72 I put my password in 1234 remember I'm a SISOP so I'm being given extra access and if I go into M, the message menu and firstly let's take a look at joining a group because remember you could have several different groups but at the moment I've just got one called FSXNet and in, uh, under area um, I've got two message bases which I haven't actually um, 
set up so that these were the numbers one and two were part of the original bases that shipped with the bulletin board software, but the one that we just created was base number three. So obviously if I try and read messages, um, it's going to not show me anything because there's nothing in there. But if I go P and post a message, I could send a message to everybody. Um, Hello world is the subject. This is a test message from the Thor test BBS that uh, Avon aka Paul is using for some demo videos. Now if you want to save that message you can see in the top right hand corner the forward slash key brings up some command menu and if you're not sure what it is just use the question mark to see your options and in this case I want to save the message saved. If I want to read messages now and press enter here you'll see I can begin reading at message one of one and it comes up with a little option there to read the message so option the first message unread hello world and if I press enter you can see that there we go we've got um, the message it's from Thor BBS and you can see it's got my uh, network address in there in brackets and also at the top you can see uh, underneath hello world the status that says local now the next step of the process is going to be exporting this message and sending it off to the hub and how we do that is the subject of our next video but for now I will leave you with the screen and say thank you very much for watching and if you are interested in the software please check out the links in the video below.